Okay, problem numero three. Very similar to the one that we just did, although a little trickier because all that we're getting here are our reactants. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna think about what is gonna happen in this single replacement reaction. My calcium is gonna replace my aluminum to form calcium nitrate, and my aluminum is gonna get kicked to the curb. Now, I'm gonna rewrite this as just the net ionic equation. I'm gonna drop that spectator ion of the nitrate out. It's not really playing a part in the chemical reaction here. So now it's just like the previous problem, we're gonna assign some oxidation states, and we need to come up with both the oxidation and reduction half reactions. As written, my calcium is oxidized to the calcium ion and loses two moles of electron for every mole of calcium. My aluminum ion is reduced and gains three moles of electrons for every mole of aluminum ion reduced. Okay, we're gonna jump over to the reduction potential chart to see what the potentials are for these oxidation and reduction half reactions. Scoped out calcium and aluminum. The reduction potential for calcium is negative 2.76 volts. So not very likely to be reduced. And in fact, it is being oxidized in the reaction that we are working with. And so I'm gonna flip its cell potential to positive 2.76 volts. So as I look at the reduction potential for calcium, its reduction potential is negative 2.76 volts. So not very likely to gain electrons. Aluminum's reduction potential, negative 1.66 volts also a negative reduction potential, so also not very likely to gain electrons. However, it is more likely to gain electrons than calcium will. So because aluminum is being reduced, I'm gonna simply leave its reduction potential as is at negative 1.66 volts. Okay, always a quick check to make sure I'm balanced for mass. I've got the same number of calciums on either side, the same number of aluminums on either side. However, we do need to balance for charge. Notice that I lose two moles of electrons in my oxidation half reaction, but I'm gaining three moles of electrons in my reduction half reaction. To balance for charge here, I'm gonna multiply my oxidation half reaction by a factor of three, lose a total of six moles of electrons. Again, remember, we're not gonna multiply our oxidation potential. And then I'm gonna multiply my reduction potential by a factor of two. Again, I'm doing this so that my number of moles of electrons gained equals my number of moles of electrons lost. Okay, I can now sum together my half reactions. Notice that my six moles of electrons will cancel out. And notice when I sum together the voltages of my oxidation half reaction and my reduction half reaction, I get an overall potential for this reaction of 1.10 volts. Again, because this sign is positive, this will be a spontaneous reaction as written. Boom, we are done.